Good morning, Madam. Your Honor. In international law, is there a distinction between international armed conflict on the one hand and non-international armed conflict on the other hand, since you mentioned this in your statement? Oh, yes, Your Honor. I ask this question basically for the education of the public. The difference between international armed conflict and non-international armed conflict. Well, under the Geneva Convention, I, I'm sorry, under the Rome Statute, they really, it, it really contemplates uh, uh, international conflict and also non-international conflict. Opo, ganito kasi yon. Meron tayong law of armed conflict pag nagera ang dalawang estado o dalawang states. Meron tayo law of non-international armed conflict pag nagera ang estado o ang state with a rebel group within its midst. At saka, gumawa tayo ng ganitong distinction para hindi mabigyan ng legality, hindi malegitimize ang mga terorista at ang mga rebelde. That is the answer. Yes. There is non-international armed conflict in this situation and we must therefore remember that the terrorists are not entitled in most cases to the protections of the international instruments on the conduct of warfare such as the Geneva Conventions and the Rome Statute of the International Criminal Court. Second question, what challenge is posed by the development and application of humanitarian law to this non-international armed conflict? Bakit napakahirap i-apply ang ating international humanitarian law sa ating sariling bansa dito sa nangyari sa mga sa pano? Ang nakikita ko po dyan is that marami ho kasi